Uh, good morning. This is Lagos Talks uh, 91.3 FM. Under the banner of uh, election wash. So we are continuing the discussion, please. And uh, let me quickly place it on record that this discussion, which shall go on for uh, uh, between 45 to 15 minutes, we are, we are live on Facebook. So you can follow us. And of course, the YouTube channel of uh, The Ghost Talks, we are live. The election, the gubernatorial election, gubernatorial snatch, still houses of assembly election had been postponed. That is no more news to us. We've heard it. And of course, let me equally say, this shall not be the first time that elections have been postponed. In 2011, it was postponed. In 2015, it was postponed. In 2019, a few minutes to take off of voting, it was postponed. Mm -hmm. Then this one has been postponed. But let me equally bring an amendment to it that in 2011 the presidential was postponed in 2015 the presidential was postponed in 2019 the presidential was postponed in 2023 the presidential was not postponed hmm. so it is therefore the second one that is the gubernatorial and state houses of assembly that is postponed now but because others counted there were postponement of both because once one was shifted the other one followed suit and 2011 is it the first year of our general elections that was postponed before then we have records of about two that were postponed that is for that like as I said, this is election wash. We cannot just go off the discussion because of postponement. Factors that led to it, implications of the postponement, the gains derivable, if there were any of the postponement, losses in terms of economy, in terms of human emotions, in terms of our party, in terms of votes, in terms of what is being uploaded from the equipment, is why we are here to make them very, very clear so that we can follow suit. So please follow, listen. And whatever happens, we involve you listeners out there. Even if it is for only half a minute, we will involve you. Another thing we must take quick recognition of is that this is the first technological election that is being postponed or <laughs> what would look like technological election a digitalized or so it seemed election that is being postponed so let us take recognition of that let's place it on on record what are the issues the issue is that the presidential election had come and gone. Is it really gone? No. As we are more on the side of analog in deciding who the president of Nigeria in 2023 shall be. For now, we have a president-elect and the person of Ashiwagu Ahmed Bola Tinubu, former governor of Lagos State two times, former senator of the short-lived republic, former national leader of the APC, and former uh, presidential candidate. <laughs> In the election, are now president elect. Mm. 
it is based on the electoral amendment that became law signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari in 2022, which is which is now being referred to as uh, Electoral Act of 1922, that took us from the wood of analog. So it seemed. Also, we thought we read from the law. I'm using this language so deliberately so that we can follow the course of our navigational voyage. Introduction of beavers became something that many all over the world created a very beautiful song for the game changer. And with that mentioned in the election near law, we now believed that we are no more in the era of analog and that everything starting from identification of the owner of the PVC you you will be taking with you or you took to the pulley boot on the day of election 26th of February accreditation and everything that qualify you to cast your vote because when you get to the pulley boot the first thing you present is the uh, PVC mm. permanent voters card then there is only one equipment created to identify and authenticate that you are the owner of that PVC. And that instrument became the beavers. Once the beaver captures you by the facts that are embedded inside your PVC, the shift that is there, that you are the owner of that PVC, it means you are qualified to vote. It is only after the identification that uh, uh, the next process will take place accreditation it is the strength of the decision given by the beavers in authenticating your PVC that qualify you to be accredited and beaver will go on temporary holiday as per the arrangement and the law but let me call it place it on record that there are electoral laws and there are electoral guidelines mm. but let it call it be straight here that at no time can electoral guidelines become law the electoral guidelines are drawn by INEC to tell you that this and this are the methodology we are deploying in carrying out this exercise that is a guide mm -hmm. a guide would always remain a guide a guide cannot take over the law so the electoral law remains the instrument of running. So, but this, the ease of prosecuting that instrument of running the exercise is what the guide stipulates. Mm. Let us get this right. What now happened was the fault, though the chairman of INEC had apologized to the people that they were technical hitch and the techna the technical hitch as he apologized to the people is now left for it to be seen either the explanation he gave is acceptable to the people again another thing that the lawyers will be interrogating in their preparation is that hmm. if the apology will wipe out status quo ante of the law, the position of the law concerning the election that we were, we ran into technical issues. Would that be enough to change the course of the exercise as regulated by law? That is one. If the Nigerian people would even accept that apology, does that change the narration of the law and what the law set out at the initial to establish that's another thing. Now, the beavers, unfortunately, could not upload the results of the presidential election. But with speed, it uploaded the results of the House of Representatives and Senate. 
That is because there were two elections that the presidential election and national assembly. With the apology of this is a technical hitch which we never envisage, would it work? And of course, what damage would that failure have done, would have done to the electors who had gone to exercise their franchise, their rights to vote a candidate of their choice? In this discussion, is the place of the elector very, very important in considering the rights? Is the place of the elector very, very important? Would the law recognize the place of the elector in this matter that the guru has no authority to discuss? That is now moved to the courts. And as we talk, the presidential election... Uh, tribunal which starts and stops at the place of court of appeal because if court, court of appeal is constituted now as a tribunal mm. and if court of appeal after the decision of court of appeal for anyone that might want to pursue the matter for that we are ending up in supreme court these are the two stages unlike other ones that a tribunal will be set up differently. Mm. Then the tribunal, yes or no, will move to court of appeal where the matter ends or move to Supreme Court. So, and the procedures, as pointed out by law, they have number of days in which you must finish what you are doing. Or the law will say, these are the number of days. So we are no more going into... Uh, contesting of this thing that will go for years, mm. like it was in the beginning, that the governor will go, that I won, you did not win, and the matter will be pending until another election will come, <laughs> and the same governor will <laughs> run again and pick. <laughs> so, meaning we have really proved tremendously in our lawmaking processes, mm. which is now bringing us from the woods. But the issues for discussion here. At this election uh, wash is heavier than all this. It's heavier than all this. So let us take them one after the other. But I must put it on record again. We can never, never finish these discussions in one hour or the next two hours. Or, no, no. It's going to take place. For now, the Court of Appeal first of all granted permission to the Labour Party and to the PDP to inspect election materials mm. that are with INEC. INEC conducted, INEC is the sole authority operating independently in conducting elections in Nigeria. INEC, therefore, is the one that gave budget for what it would cost to run each election. And in this particular election, about 350 uh, billion, 50 billion uh, was what INEC presented mm. and it was guaranteed and it was given. And INEC had set up the guidelines yeah. and the dates for the election <coughs> over one year ago, almost two years. They gave us the timetable that so so did will be for the presidential election and national assembly, the so so did will be for the gubernatorial election. And still houses of assembly. That's one. Two, INEC had gone out to import all the materials needed, technically fixed them, coded them, decoded them, and kept them in readiness. Hmm. Why INEC was doing this, one important point I will bring out now so that we can use it for the interrogation of the narration is that there were attacks in INEC offices. Mostly in the southeast Nigeria during this period. And while the attack were going on, they targeted uh, uh, ballot, uh, ballot boxes, yeah. they targeted many things, and including some places I don't know. Either beavers were included, I wouldn't know. But each time that such happened, we must give kudos to INEC. Mm -hmm. They were able to move it speedily, 
put their house, repair it, and re make replacement of those things destroyed. Even those that went under Ifalo, they replaced them. Which means Anek got itself prepared for yeah. every emergency. Mm. Uh, they articulated the emergency and they dealt with the emergency with uh, uh, technological maturity. So one should recognize this fact. And INEC, in preparation for the election, needed to print ballot papers. Because it is ballot paper you will print that you will put in the bus that will dictate whom you wanted. Yes. Every voter, let me equally remarked on this. Every voter that went to the polling unit on 25th of February knew whom he wanted to vote for before getting there and knew whom he voted for. Mm. Except if there is an error of not thumping the, uh, the, the line properly and the express, which will now void. Otherwise, every voter that went to the polling unit that day and every voter that shall be going to, going to the polling unit on the 18th of this that that is uh, next week Saturday, yes. have in mind whom they wanted to vote for, and that's so the voter knew whom he voted for. That's now in preparation for this, INEC printed a lot of uh, uh, no voters poly, uh, voters. Uh, uh, ballot paper. Ballot papers. Now, I, I neck now anticipated or articulated that because this is one election that the demography of all stages of life in Nigeria became so aroused, then they anticipated, and of course, it was not the two horse drive as usual, mm. the two big parties. It became two, it became three. It became four. Mm. And knowing fully that even the unknown could put a, pull a surprise on the day of a race, I neck now anticipated that there might be a runoff. A rerun, sorry. A rerun. Is it a rerun or runoff? Yeah, it's almost the same thing. No, they are not two. Ah. Ah, ah. It was like when we this okay, we, yeah, a rerun. It's yeah. a runoff. Yes, it's a runoff that uh, 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 it was like when we we're talking of uh, transfer transmit. and transmit. <laughs> rerun and runoff is different. Rerun yes. is when you do it again. Yes, runoff so is run an off, extended version. Runoff is who wins. Yes. So in anticipation of that, I net printed additional ninety three point five million papers mm. to meet the exigency of a rerun mm. of a runoff. Sorry. Of a runoff. Again, that became well applauded. Anek did that because Anek knew that according to section 134 of the constitution, yeah. he provides Anek with only 21 days from the finish up of election to a run a rerun. No, a runoff to take place. And if Anek failed to do this preparation in advance, the 21 days given by the cause because mm. In, after 21 days, if there is no runoff, that's the end. And that that election will become as dead as Dudu. Mm. Now, INEC now went to print 93.5 million ballot papers in anticipation of a runoff. And the whole world applauded INEC in that preparation. Mm. But unfortunately, it is this same my neck that is now telling us that except they fall back to the beavers they used mm. for presidential election, national assembly election, they don't have any extra beavers. Beavers, yeah? Mm. Am I right? Yes. To use for how uh, gubernatorial election a house of assembly election. Which is why now, compellingly, they need to reconfigure the beavers used for the presidential election. If INEC had made provision, of course, that will come to a point that people will now be questioning what did INEC do with that money? Mm. But of course, I don't think the law provides for uh, audition or auditing of INEC vote. Freedom of Information Bill, sir. Act, rather.
Yes. We can ask. It's our money. Yes. Your freedom of uh, <laughs> uh, freedom of uh, information. information. Yes. Art. I agree with you. But then, under the law, it is like security vote. Mm. It's not to be audited. Interesting. It is for that reason that the governors, even local government chairman, the president, will pick this amount and they will go away with it. It was for that reason that all the people that are supposed to be prosecuted under the allegation that they collected money from security vote other than Suki as National Security Advisor to Good Dog Jonathan mm. that were lined up to go to jail. It is for this reason that most of the cases are suffering for shocker in law. But I'm not here to talk that today. So, if it may come to it may come to a point. It may come to a point that the question will be raised: uh, How much is the cost of each beaver's beaver machine? Yes, machine that you cannot prepare for knowing fully that you gave us the schedule ahead that this amount, this uh, election will be this day, yeah. this election will be this day. Now, but that matter had been solved mm. by the tribunal. Granting authority to INEC to reconfigure God. Now that INEC is going to reconfigure God, it now led to postponement of the election. Because INEC said they will have they will need not less than five days to yes, re to reconfigure God. Mm. And that as of the time, because the judgment was given late in the evening. Yes. Let it, may God save us from judgment of ninth, when judgment are only be delivered at ninth, because judgment delivered at ninth, they have not proved to be too helpful mm. to strengthen democracy in Nigeria. We are not talking of today. State of emergency declared in the West. The judgment moved into ninth. And the law described what time judgment in any should be given. Mm. The law stipulates within working hours. When justice, the late justice uh, uh, Basi Ikweme, yes, that sir. beautiful woman hmm. who gave the judgment that annulled the victory of M.K. Abiola in 1993 general elections. She delivered her judgment 10 midnight. Wow. All up by the near. Now, what happened after that, it led to dismantling of all that effort of democratic processes. It led to Abiola being moved. It led to Abiola dying in the hands of the authority when the government of that time killed him it led to many things it led to even at all is mm. becoming more notorious than what he should have been and eventually a few months or is it years after the judgment when the body of justice uh basic women was brought in from where she died it was a casual airport here her relations that went there to pick the body rejected and ran away because this couldn't have been the body of this our person. Mm. So those are evil. Some people so into the system that will always come around to cash up with them quickly. Yeah. It is a warning, but this one is moral. It's not legal. It's a warning to everyone that be very, very careful because whatever you throw at that beautiful woman called Kama, she goes back and she returns with it. It may be three hundred years. It may be two hours. And when she comes back, she's not. She where is your dwelling place? Because as you threw it on her, she knew you. She will just come to your address. 
she will say, ah, this thing you gave to me the other day, I know they take a people property without taking take your tea back. It may not it may not hit on the person. It may be the side of the person, mm. but uh, this one is moral, it's not legal. But we should think of that. But let na, 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 let's go back to the narration. The issue now is that the configuring of the machine to bring them to mostly change of date mm -hmm. and time they could come on and time they would lock themselves up. Yeah. These are the two major things. What has that got to do? How would it affect the facts that are already uploaded into the Beaver's machine as co concerning the results of the election? Which, again, the Court of Appeal had generously given permission to everyone that wants to inspect, go and inspect. Because the judgment of that night, mm. it meant win-win for every person. Just like you said, it sounds strange. Judgment of that night. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let, no, 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 no let, us, let, let us say judgment of that evening. <laughs> This one, judgment of, of that, that evening. evening. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> of that man. You know, of recent, uh, judgment was entered yes, at night again in a dust hmm. I'm not coming to <laughs> into that. <laughs> I'm not going into that. Now, what happened to the actual position? Because this uploaded yes, facts of the presidential election are the necessary thing that every contender in court of law for this needed to fight their case. Mm. Now, INEC is telling us now that they might, they are even prepared to swear to swear on oath that nothing will touch the facts, nothing will be lost. Which brings the question: Which INEC? Is it the INEC that has no credibility anymore? When I say this, I am not the one giving because it's a valued judgment mm. that this person has no credibility. You must prove it. I don't need to prove it, going for that to prove it. I will only call on all the international observers of the presidential election of 2023, February 25th. How many weeks ago? Just two weeks. Just two weeks ago. I will call on them say, what is your conclusion on INEC vis-a-vis -vis the results of the electoral uh, 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 presidential election? And they have written their report. In their report, they praise their efforts. Two said, the results of the election does not meet expectations of Nigerians. Mm. That issue of not meeting itself you have to redefine, first of all, what are expectations of Nigeria okay. before you can come to final and judicious conclusion on the vote not meeting, the election, the result not meeting expectation mm. of Nigeria. But all others said, credibility of INEC took flight. So INEC, there is no credibility with INEC in this matter. From the gossip parlor, I want I I may want to attempt in placing it on record. Mm. Please mark my words. I may want one me to attempt. I may want to attempt mm. in placing. So you have it. not done it at all. No, you are still thinking no. of the possibility no. to attempt. Even the introduction can be withdrawn. Yes, without ferocious uh, <laughs> <laughs> repercussion to me. Sir. Some of those established personalities of either national, continental, mm. uh, worldwide reputation that visited the chairman of INEC, Professor uh, Yaku Mahmoud. Is that the name? Mm, yes. They sat together. Some of them who were willing to talk to friends said that when he, 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 the chairman of INEC was talking to them, he could not even raise his eyes to match their eyeballs to eyeballs. 
That's one. It is alleged that some told him you shouldn't have been announcing this result. Mm. For what reason? The alleged factor there did not see it, but he was told you shouldn't be announcing this result. Per what he he told us lies again. That is an offense in law of morality, not of legality. Mm. That he told us lie because he assured real time. Is it real time? Real time uh, transmission. Real time. Eventually, the honest nine li lie on Nigerians and him to interpret what real time is there for. Mm. If you say maybe a few days time, a few days time, something can translate to a year and a half. Because even five years, if you break it down, it has numbers of days. Yeah. So a few days time. So these are the issue. Now I think another court had come ordering INEC to carry out the exercise of next week Saturday with tempera <laughs> voters card voters card <laughs> that judge should have read the law properly before giving judgment again this will move us maybe for a second to talk about the judiciary we have two branches of government is a system that is standing on tripod one leg Tripod is something standing on three legs. Mm. Arumeta ki dobenu. But here now, Arumeta is now dobenu regime mm. in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Now, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary, we have been told here last week, uh, Tuesday that the pronouncement of court is the law mm. of the land. True. That's a real interpretation the of the law. Yes. But most of our judges, there will be need to talk to the judiciary. Why don't the judiciary, part of their, thank God, they don't share the same budget with all others. Theirs is from on challenge. It comes. It might be Miguel, it might not be as big. I mentioned something here that uh, we did. You now beg me that the whole world is listening to us. You were begging me to tell lies. <laughs> which lies is that? Uh, but I refused. Well, which lies you said the, because the whole world. Yes. Yes, you sir. told me that they say, ah, the whole world is listening to us. Yes, sir. Why should I say that there is not like sometimes in the Supreme Court? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, what I knew to be true, you were telling me to say otherwise. You were telling me to lie. I, you cannot make me Professor uh, <laughs> Mama, uh, Yakub Ma Mahmoud. You know? <laughs> Who will tell you that all those are lies, they are fake news, that it will be loaded real time. Mm. And his real time now became about 12 hours or more on data. Whatever happened, arrangements should be made for the judiciary to include from time to time training and retraining. Mm. Call a crash program or whatever. Because the issue that is now going to engage the Nigerian judiciary for the next how many months yes. is the issue of Beaver's machine. Mm. The technicality of his operation. Now, how many of my lordships there that really know the technicality of this? How much of evil technicality of business is it that I, who sit and talk to the whole world, I consider myself as an influencer? No, fully. Even the professors, I've tried, I've reached out to two professors uh -huh. in data management, database, uh, information systems, so they can come tell us more about this. Mm. And they're like, they haven't studied it, that they were not consulted. So we need to look for somebody that really knows how to handle it to explain. I got in touch with one of mine in the UK. I asked him, would you be willing to talk to us so we lick you up? Because when it comes to this thing, he's a young man, but he's a wizard when mm. it comes to them. 
Then he told me that he will not want to talk because the majority of those that should have been beneficiary of his speech don't know anything about it. That even if I should go to INEC, it may not be more than four or five people that understand that understood the technology from beginning and applied it in mm. de designing this thing. And that. <laughs> <laughs> So, I think <laughs> this is how far we can go for now. For now, yes. On this uh, uh, wash, that is election wash. Mm. We shall come back. And we are grateful that you are flowing with us. Whenever we come back, please, listeners, you will have the opportunity of calling in. in yes. Because this matter is a continuing. But the courts <laughs> are fully engaged. And most of them, otherwise, that judge wouldn't have given that judgment that mm. has allowed uh, the CVCs to vote. Uh -huh. and it's contrary to so now we should be headed towards our news because the news uh, is coming on real time. <laughs> 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 but, but hold on, when we return back, we will have the opportunity <laughs> to bring in your input but because we are in much very terrible dying time. May God save us. Amen.